In topping our news this morning, the FBI is on the lookout for a 33-year-old Boston man possibly connected with ISIS. Officials think he may be head heading the violent social media campaigns of ISIS militants. Ahmad Abu Samara is the FBI's most wanted terrorist list. He's been on the run since he was indicted five years ago for conspiring to kill Americans in Iraq and providing material support to terrorists. The FBI's wanted poster says he has U.S. and Syrian citizenship. And what you're looking at now is a video on YouTube released by the State Department to counter ISIS recruitment. This video is extremely graphic and very disturbing, but it highlights the nature of what ISIS has done. Blow up mosques, crucify Muslims, as well as others, and participate in suicide bombings. The video is part of a State Department program that started last year, directed at Muslims vulnerable to recruitment by violent groups. The campaign is called Think Again, Turn Away, and it hopes to, in essence, to fight fire with fire by showing the true nature of what membership in ISIS really means. And today in Pinecrest, Florida, the second American journalist killed by ISIS militants will be laid to rest. Kidnapped and beheaded by the Muslim militants, Steve Sotloff kept a secret from his killers to the very end. He was Jewish and Israeli citizen. Sotlov is in the Islamic State's second public murder of an American journalist, and the first was a photojournalist, James Foley. And former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell was a rising star in the political circle. But now, yesterday, McDonnell was convicted on 11 of 14 corruption accounts. When public officials turn to financial gain in exchange for official acts, we have little choice but to prosecute the case. His wife was also found guilty on nine corruption counts and obstruction of justice. The charges stemmed from granting favors to a wealthy Virginia businessman in exchange for more than $170,000 worth of lavish gifts, vacations, and loans. And comedian Joan Rivers, who always turned her personal tragedy into showbiz success, has died. These are all my jokes. These are jokes over the last 30 years. These are just, every time I, I write a joke, I try to remember to get it on a card. Why should a woman cook so her husband can say, my wife makes a delicious cake to some hooker? <laughs> and you wonder why I'm still working at this age. Through her 50-year career, Rivers kept people laughing regardless of her personal problems. Bankruptcy, being banned from The Tonight Show, and having her husband commit suicide. Rivers died of complications following a throat procedure. She was... She was